Hey, Alan here for Old Link Shoutfitters. So what we have here today is a Smith & Wesson EZ Shield. And you're saying to yourself, well, we already reviewed the EZ Shield. We reviewed it 380, we reviewed it 9mm, what's the big deal, right? Did they change something? Well, the big deal is what they changed with regards to what caliber this is. The EZ Shields have always been in 380 or 9mm. This one is in Federal's new 30 Super Carry. 30 Super Carry. New round introduced by Federal Cartridge. The gun itself is built on the 9mm size EZ Shield. Now, presently, as we tape this, I only know of three guns that are being made for this caliber. The EZ Shield, the Shield Plus, and Nighthawk is making one of their 1911 pattern guns in this caliber. The EZ Shield is built on the 9mm, so we've got a little heavier slide, uh, which you notice right away, uh, and uh, heavier duty construction compared to the 380 because you got a higher pressure round like you do with 9mm. So you've got the 9mm size, but chambered in the 30 Super Carry. The magazines, you still get two, are, you can tell them apart from the 9mm mostly quickly visually by the base plate. The base plate is very different. It's bigger, just looks different. So you look at that base plate, that bigger base plate, you know you have the 30 Super Carry. They're also, of course, marked 30 Super Carry. And they carry 10 rounds instead of 8 rounds. <clears throat> this gun's very comfortable to shoot, quite accurate, perfectly reliable in our experience shooting it this morning. So no issues there. It's the round, it's the caliber that makes the difference here. And what's the big deal? Well, right here we have three cartridges lined up. And all three of these cartridges are popular self-defense rounds at the moment, with the new one being in the middle. So there's the 9mm, there's the 30 Super Carry, and there's the 380 ACP. So what's the, what's the big difference here? What, what's the deal, right? Well, here you've got 115 grain bullet, pretty much standard for 9mm. In this particular full metal jacket flat point, you've got a 100 grain round in the 30 Super Carry, and you've got the old standard 95 in the 380. So it's kind of right in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. Some of the defensive loads made for the 30 Super Carry are going to carry the same weight as this. They're going to be 115 grain bullets. Shooting this feels like a lot like shooting a 100 grain 9 millimeter light load. Pretty much what it feels like. And that makes a lot of sense. 115 grain weight in this is probably going to feel a lot like shooting 115 grain 9 millimeter. Makes a lot of sense. We're shooting the same bullet weight. We're pushing the same weight out of the gun. So recoil impulse should be about the same. So what, what the heck is the big deal here? Why would we develop this new cartridge? Well, technically, what you're looking at is two advantages this gives you over maybe the other two. One is, for example, in the 380EZ, if it's a 9mm, you got 8 rounds. If it's a 380, you got 8 rounds. 30 Super Carry is a 30 caliber projectile. Here you've got 35 caliber projectiles, roughly, right? So you got a smaller diameter projectile. Ergo, you have a smaller diameter overall cartridge. So, in the same size weapon, you can put more of them in there. So where you'd have eight capacity out of nine millimeter, you got 10 rounds capacity in the 30 Super Carry. So that's the first technical difference. Uh, by the way, this, this round skips right along. This full metal jacket round, according to Federal's data, should get about 1250 feet per second. That's pretty good. Uh, you're probably looking at very similar sorts of things for the hollow point rounds. And that is where technical difference number two comes in. We have a bullet that weighs about as much as a 9mm bullet. It's the same length. That's part of the reason why you have to use the 9mm frame, right? Of course, you got some pressure there. So again, you got to use the heavier frame, heavier constructed uh, platform to launch it from. But you're shooting a bullet that is smaller diameter, but same weight. Well, what they've done is they've tweaked this a little bit so you get very consistent and quite robust expansion out of it. So these things, according to federal date, Federal's data with the hollow point rounds, are consistently expanding to like half an inch. Also, you've got optimized penetration. Now, handgun wo bullets wound two ways. Penetration, how deep they go. Expansion, what size hole they make, right? That's why you always use hollow points. You want to make a, a bigger hole, get more damage. That's the two ways you get you get effectiveness off of these cartridges. 30 Super Carry is optimized to get very good expansion 
and the consistent penetration that exceeds that 12 but doesn't exceed the 18 inch penetration range. So the idea being we're going to try to keep that projectile when it's fully expanded inside the target we just shot with. So their goal is to optimize penetration and expansion in a round that gives you a little more capacity than a 9mm or 380. So it's kind of in the middle, but it's designed to optimize some of those features. Is it going to be popular? Well, we don't know yet. It remains to be seen. Pretty new. We're just starting to see guns and ammunition for it. Is it going to be very effective? It remains to be seen. Uh, we'll know more when these things are actually used in the field on things. It's an interesting cartridge. Uh, those, those, optimizing those two factors uh, makes it very attractive for a defense cartridge. Bumping up the capacity in a smaller pistol makes it very attractive for a defensive cartridge. And it's certainly in the EZ Shield, uh, the 100 grain full metal jacket round, very comfortable to shoot and quite accurate. So it has some advantages going for it technically. Now, ammunition cost. Well, it's closer to 380 in cost than it is 9 millimeter. Now, of course, everybody on the planet uses 9 millimeter for something. So 9 millimeters made in enormous numbers and used in enormous numbers. So the price point tends to come down a little bit because of just of the volume that's out there. Even in the current environment, 9 millimeter remains the cheapest center fire cartridge to shoot our pistol rounds go. 30 Super Carry at the moment is trending cost-wise about the same as 380. So it's not as cheap as 9 millimeter to shoot. If it starts to catch on, more people start making guns for it, and its effectiveness is proven in the field and continues to be proven, then we may see higher volumes. Maybe that'll contribute to lower cost. We'll have to see how that all goes. But for right now, the 30 Super Carry, brand new cartridge. We've got guns, we've got ammo for them. And the EZ certainly is a good choice in that, in that uh, platform. So that's what we have for you today, the brand new 30 Super Carry cartridge. So if you're interested, pay us a visit. Like I said, we've got guns, we've got ammo, both defensive and range quality. So you can try it out and see if it fits the niche you're looking for for a defensive pistol. All right, well, that's what we have for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm Alan for Old English Outfitters.